my name is Chris Ed, and I'm a researcher at Case Western Reserve University in the Department of Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery. Today I'll be describing the surgical blockade of the endolymphatic duct in the guinea pig, which produces endolymphatic high drops and is used to model many errors disease related ear pathology. Endolymphatic high drops is a swelling of the endolymphatic compartment of the cochlea and is a key histological marker for many errors disease. Here you see a cross-sectional picture of a normal cochlea with two perilymphatic compartments, the scala tympani and scala vestibuli, and a non-dilated scala media, which is continuous with the endolymphatic duct, the structure we're operating on. Within weeks of the surgical procedure, the scala media becomes dilated, as indicated here, and Reisner's membrane becomes distended. The animals also undergo progressive fluctuating hearing loss on the surgical ear, just as in Meniere's disease. Surgical induction of high drops in the guinea pig has been the gold standard animal model for human Meniere's disease since it was first described in 1965 by Robert Kimor and Harold Schucknecht. Although the procedure was initially performed using a more invasive intradural approach, our center prefers an extradural approach because it results in less morbidity and mortality for the animal. The following is a description of the materials, animal care, and surgical approach necessary for successful and humane performance of this rather intricate procedure. First, I'll describe the surgical materials needed. The animal is an adult female Duncan Hartley albino guinea pig from Charles River International Laboratories, Incorporated. For room preparation and sterile setup, you'll need sterile surgical attire, an operative microscope with sterile cover, a Mars small fenestrated drape, intraoperative warming pad, suction apparatus, a number five suction, a number 40 suction.